Hello, I'm Joseph, and today I wanted to talk about pen tablets on Android devices. Um, now, just to put a preface to this, make sure that any of these pen tablets you buy, you can return if you're buying them specifically for drawing on an Android device. And that's because that with some of these, you're going to be making com compromises or uh, you don't want to make them, so just return the device. Okay, so uh, first I have two recommendations of these, but this has to do with the aspect ratio. But before that, let's talk about when you buy these, what you'd be expecting to come in a box to work on Android. Um, some of these come with get dedicated guides, or you go to the website, they have dedicated guides for setting up the pen tablet on these Android devices. Follow those, make sure you read them just in case. But you definitely do want to make sure they come with OTG connectors. That's these little USB-A to either USB-C or USB-A to a micro USB connector. Uh, so having these alongside with the uh, core that it will come with, which is usually a USB-C to USB-A or a micro USB to a micro US or USB-A. So yeah, just make sure they come with the OTG connectors. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about uh, for this top, for this guide is aspect ratio. So each of these pen tablets, both of them them that's in front of you right now, this one and this one here, are 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Um, however, they have different implementations for how they work on Android. The Deco M from XP Pen provides the full drawing area for your Android device. You might think, oh, that's going to be perfect. I'd rather you know I want that versus maybe with Huion, which intentionally only gives you like a third of the actual active drawing area on an Android device. And that's also intentional, but you're like, why would you want to buy this over this when you can't even use the whole drawing area? And that has to do with the aspect ratio. Uh, so Huion uh, makes products, when they do this little like intentional one third sliver availability um, to work mostly on Android phones, but even then there's some gotchas there, uh, but in general, if you have a kind of like a newer phone that's a little bit taller and stuff like that, the Huion H610X, the Huion 580X, both have this newer aspect ratio that Huion's providing. They are the only ones at the time providing this aspect ratio, which is the 18 by nine aspect ratio. So rather than doing the 16 by 10, like I mentioned, all pen tablets are, they, are, they divvy up a little portion here, and that is actually an 18 by 9. If you want to go more expensive, which I do not recommend if you're only going to draw on Android, Huion also released the Inspiron Dial 2 and uh, the, uh, the Giano, uh, which are ex extremely expensive pen tablets in terms of like cheaper ones out there. So the Giano is like 200, the Inspiron Dial 2 I think is like 50, 150, 160. But yeah, respectively, this is $50. Now, I, you don't necessarily need to get the XP Pen Deco 2 or Deco M for like an Android tablet, but the phone variants, like that, if you want to use a cell phone, uh, I definitely do recommend the, uh, the Huion, just the four products I brought up so far. If your phone is a little bit of an older phone, is a 16 by 9, then Huion has a, a bunch of products that also have this phone implementation. And that's their oldest, older aspect ratio that they were going with that better works here. So for, for phones, you're really limited to just Huion at this point because they have that better aspect ratio. For Android tablets, uh, any, any implementation that provides the whole aspect uh, or the whole drawing active area for Android will work on an Android tablet. I just recommend the XP Pen Deco M because if you see, it maps so closely to uh, and a 10 inch Android device. Um, now they're it, across the diagonal for this drawing um, pen tablet is nine and a half. So a 10 inch isn't that far off at eight inch is not that far off uh, for the, for that. So having that, that medium in between. Okay. So that's aspect ratio. It's important to know, be like, okay, well, what, what, why do I need to know about that? What does that mean? Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a drawing up here and then show you, um, the nuance to that. So the bigger circle, um, you know, well, you're not gonna really tell, but basically the bigger circle, bigger oval was drawn on the Deco M on this phone and it stretched the circle. Like I traced an actual circle, circular item on this pen tablet onto this phone and it stretched it out to an oval. When you look at some of these like um, reviews, I'm showing it to draw on Android, you notice that maybe sometimes the face look e looks elongated, 
or whatever they're drawing looks elongated, that's because you're stretching out uh, the, you know, the, the vertical space of this when you're mapping it to a 16 by 10. So this is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. If you don't know what this is, but you know the pixel dimensions of your phone, uh, I'm gonna give you a website that I've built to help you kind of navigate this confusion part of the aspect ratios and figure out what aspect ratio is your phone. Hello, I just wanted to interrupt the video real quick so I can walk you through this process of finding out which pen tablets will work for your Android device. So what you're gonna to wanna to go here is, uh, or put in here is your the width of your device. So the one I showed here, the Rebel K31, uh, is 720 by 1520. You can find that out by just typing in your model number, specs, and then it'll give you the uh, the aspect ratio. So my this is actually not a 21 by 9, it's a 19 by 9. And then when I do search nearest pen tablets, there's a little warning down here that says, hey, it's not going to match it 100%, blah, blah, blah. If you really want to continue, you can, but maybe look at the Sonar pen as an option instead. But you can click this, uh, and this will find the nearest matching aspect ratio that works with your device. This way you're not getting as much distortion as, as you would expect. If it did have a match that did that is supported through these pen tablets, it'll just not even give you this message here. It'll just give you the button to go ahead and click. So you can click it, and then it'll show you the devices here. So now we can go ahead and just checkbox these devices um, and, and view them if we want. And we can also go down here and say, okay, well, I want to make sure it includes an OTG connector. This way, if I'm going to draw an Android, you know, it make sure I don't have to buy something extra. And you can see here that um, only these two actually include OTG connector. So effectively, like for my phone, if I wanted to draw an Android, these are my only two options, unless I'm going to go buy not only an OTG connector, but spend a significant amount more money. So 160 or $200 for the Yano and Dial 2, that's a, that's a big nope just to only draw an Android. Um, so yeah, and you can, you know, check them off. There's a compare button down here, or when you view the individual products, there's a, the comparison for that. You can see the individual products, the complete breakdown, what they include in the packing list, how much they weigh, when they were released, the colors that they're available in, the dimensions. And by the way, if you're looking at these dimensions, like, well, I don't know inches. I'm, you know, in another world other than America. So you can go from inches to centimeters and grams or ounces to grams. So I'll leave it in grams, but then you get a breakdown of how many centimeters this stuff is, uh, as well as the Android uh, active area for centimeters and the Android aspect ratio, so on and so forth. If they have buttons, tilt, dial, blah, 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 and so on. So hopefully this will be useful for anyone looking for pen tablets. There's 109 pen tablets currently in this database. So I'll go ahead and reset this. You see the there's a, quite a few lists. It gives you all of them. It's not paginated or anything else like that. And there's a lot of things to look for. Like if you say, okay, well, I actually want to look for like maybe a, a pink pen tablet. There's all the versions of pen tablets that are available in some variant of pink color. Um, but yeah, you know, try it out. Let me know and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. But regardless, that's what to expect. Now on the H610X, uh, there is still some distortion in the drawing here. So that's that, that was the second circle there. Uh, it, it's a little less stretched, but it's still stretched. And that's simply because, again, this is an 18 by nine. This is the best aspect ratio that's gonna match this type of phone, which is the 21 by nine. So if you don't want any distortion and you have a newer generation phone and, uh, and yeah, I mean, just don't get a pen tablet. <laughs> There's no, there's not really much else to say. Look at like a cheap stylus at that point because um, it's not worth you trying to like break your head over trying to draw something and seeing that your lines aren't coming out how you want them to be. So that's aspect ratio. Again, I'll put a link down below on seeing all the pen tablets. So I have like 100 plus pen tablets with all the Android aspect ratios. If they support Android, if they come with OTG connectors uh, and a tool to help you figure out the aspect ratio of your own device, and then a, a nice drop down menu that you can pick and choose which aspect ratio that best fits your phone. Okay, so with that said, um, the next thing we need to go on to is uh, tilt. So can you use tilt on Android? And the answer is yes, uh, but they are limited to certain apps. So the ones I've found so far, and there could be other ones out there, is Sketchbook, Clip Studio Paint, and um, Krita. So Krita, uh, is a newer Android app. It has been historically on Windows, Linux, and Mac, but it's completely free. It is very full featured. So yeah, you can use Tilt, but it depends on the app. I didn't find Tilt to be usable or have, have any Tilt options in Ibis Paint X or Medibang um, 
or even um, like sketches or concepts or any of these other, uh, you know, like well-rounded drawing applications. Um, so yeah, tilt works. Now, another thing that you're gonna be running into is can I use the buttons on this? The answer is yes. And this is gonna fall into orientation a little bit uh, or a lot of it. Um, so I'll first go over when you're drawing on an Android tablet, and this is probably why I wouldn't recommend like a 10 by six because they get kind of long, is that you will be forced to access both your device and the pen tablet in portrait mode. Um, and the reason why that's kind of a, a problem is that you kind of need a lot of desk space for this. You're looking really flat down <clears throat> on your Android tablet. And sometimes you want to have your, your tablet like pushed off to the side. But when you want to be able to like pinch and zoom and rotate, some of these drawing apps don't have any keyboard shortcuts to let you do that. And they won't work with these um, uh, like buttons on top to let you do the pinching and zooming only on the pen tablet. So you're gonna need your, your Android device close by. Um, and so for example, I have like the Deco 01 V2. It's super long uh, and it's impossible to get the desk space you need to, to draw on an Android tablet. So, you know, going with something a little bit smaller than a, a 10 by six uh, will always be advisable. And again, this is an eight by five. So this is smaller than that 10 by six that I was mentioning. Um, yeah, so you're gonna be forced into portrait mode. Now you can technically do orientation lock if you know what that means. When you pull down from your, your Android device, there's an auto rotate or orientation. You can lock that orientation in portrait mode, go to your, your drawing app of choice, so like sketchbook, and then what, uh, what will happen is that you'll take both your device and your drawing pen tablet, and now you can draw you know, as you would want. It's just all the UI for this is gonna be you know, like portrait mode. So that's the only catch with that. Uh, with with the uh, phones, it's a little bit of what Huion, I guess, has chosen for uh, ergonomics or just uh, ease of use. So let's, uh, actually I didn't mean to turn that off. So when you have your phone on these, uh, on like a Huion product, they design it so the phone is right next to your pen tablet. The buttons are right next to your phone. The active area is right next to this. So when you want to draw, uh, you're able to have some room to rest your hand on the actual pen tablet. You can draw here and it's not that much requirement of desk space. Whereas with an Android tablet and a pen tablet, you may be needing a lot more desk space. Okay, so buttons, can you use them? And so that was the aspect of having to deal with like orientation and stuff like that. Can you use them? So I'm going to go open up. I'm not sure why I just turned back off. Uh, an app I recommend to start with and you can move to a different one if you want because this one is free to start. So it is card art flow. So when I activate that, when I open it, I'm going to go ahead and go into here. <clears throat> and as I'm connecting this, one thing that I will say that you may run into that may be in a, a nuisance uh, another issue may why you may want to return this is that sometimes this will block your ability to charge and if your phone's not charged enough then what's going to happen is when you go to plug it in your device will not be able to power the uh the actual pen tablet so when you plug it in nothing will happen um so i'm going to go ahead and plug this in there we go okay so you open up Artflow, you go to the dot, dot, dot menu, go to settings, and this has shortcuts, which means now I can now use any of these buttons and they're already pre-assigned. So here I'm gonna go to, um, let's see if I can get a, a better focus on that. So I'm trying to bring, there we go. Um, so here we have, it's currently mapped to button zero or button one, which on this is the actual back button for this pen. I'll change, adjust the, the brightness shortly, but yeah, I mean, basically you can tap this button here and it goes to control zero, control plus, control Z, control S. There's a space bar, alt, E, and B. So these are pre-assigned. These are all pre-assigned to um, Android, or sorry, keyboard shortcuts, and you can't change them. You only can have your, your Android app, your Android drawing app, 
use these shortcuts, but you need to be able to remap them to that drawing app. So unfortunately, there's not a draw lot of drawing apps that, that does this. Artflow is one, Clip Studio Paint is one, Krita is one. If there's any others out there, you know, let me know. Uh, but as of, as of right now, those are the only three that I've used that I know that provides full keyboard shortcuts. Why that's also kind of useful is if you wanted to like prop this up on a, key, on a like, computer stand uh, and not have to constantly touch your device, uh, you can get like a keyboard, you know, kind of like a blue key, Bluetooth keyboard like this here, or just a regular keyboard, get a USB-C hub or, or USB-C or USB hub and be able to draw that way. Um, but being able to remap works. Now I will say with this specific Deco M, I cannot get the front button on this pen here to actually map to anything. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't register as anything, but I can use the back button here. So if I put it back close down and I press the back button, it reassigned. You can't see it, but I'm just letting you know it does it does work. The back button does work, but not the front button. Okay, so since we're already in here, let's also talk about the cursor. Um, the cursor is kind of a, a big issue, uh, mainly because when you go to plug this in, it's historically on, on like Android or Samsung devices, you will not be able to see where your pen is at on the screen at all. Um, here, you can kind of see it a little bit, but on Samsung devices, you normally can't. And there's no really good fix that I've found to it, except that there's certain drawing apps that you can use to actually enable the cursor to show. So Artflow, and I'll bring this up again because it lets you do this. If you go to settings and painting, you can actually go all the way down to the last option here. Let me see if I can show this a little more. Um, and go to paint indicator and usually set to none, but you can set it to ring and pointer. This way you can see your pointer when it's on the canvas. The only catch is that it, it's only visible on the canvas. So if you're trying to interact with any of this UI uh, with, your, with, your, um, with your pen, you can't, you, like, you can't really see it. It'll do hover state. Uh, if, if these buttons do have hover state, so you can see it hover over these items, like the uh, item turn active, but you cannot see the cursor at all. So it only works in the actual canvas. So if, if you are in that situation, like I said, that's why you probably want, might want to return it. You're limited to just a handful of drawing apps. Uh, the two I know offhand that supports that is Artflow and Medibang. I haven't seen this option in Ibis Paint X and I haven't seen it in Clip Studio. Uh, although it may be there and I haven't seen it in Krita and it may be there too, but I only have so many drawing apps that I've gone into. I know Sketch doesn't give you that, that option at all. So as, as you can see, like you're going to be starting to make sacrifices on here on how you're interacting with this, not just for picking a pen tablet, but now it's like, okay, well, does my, does my Android phone show my cursor? And if it does or doesn't, then I, I'm limited to these set of uh, drawing apps. Um, with that said, Huion Sketch was one that Huion released that I uh, had a previous a review on for my H321M review from Huion. And I said, like, I just don't see why they made this app. Uh, they took it down from the Google Play Store. It's available through like some APK websites or something like that. But that'll let you use your Huion device in Huion Sketch. Uh, and that's a drawing application and use all the buttons. Uh, it's just, I didn't like the performance of it. It was very slow and laggy. Uh, they took it down because they're revamping it, quote unquote, but the, the link on their website uh, is completely broken. It's down from the Google Play Store and they are trying to relaunch it from my understanding, but it's been down for like almost six months now. Okay, so we talked about OTG, uh, orientation, aspect ratio. Uh, we talked about buttons, access, and you know the issue with that, the cursor. Another thing that you'd be running into is when you go to plug this device in and, and you just want to go like quick look up some search on, on your browser, uh, it may register as a keyboard so then your keyboard does not pop up. What you're going to have to do is drag down from the top and this is in some of the guides, but it'll say uh, configure right here uh, as a keyboard. So let's see if I can get, there you go, configure as a keyboard. You need to tap it. And then from here, it's going to have um, show virtual keyboard and you need to enable that. If you do not have that enabled, what's going to happen is that when you go to um, your, uh, like the search and stuff like that, why is this not focusing now? Okay. When you go to search, you're not going to have your keyboard um, show up because it's trying to, to use this. Uh, for some older devices, you can't even do that, uh, where you're, you just need to unplug your device, unfortunately and try to <laughs> try to interact with that. Um, 
And yeah, so that's generally it. Just make sure you can return it. Make sure you match the aspect ratio the best you can. Again, I'll have the, my website link to give you access to looking up over 100 plus pen tablets, comparing them, uh, and then doing the aspect ratio calculator, figuring out what's your device best fitting towards, um, and you can decide what to get from there. Um, if you have any more questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any recommendations and other drawing apps that work in these scenarios where you want to use buttons or you like you want to put your pen tablet up and not have to touch it or interact with it at all with drawing apps that you use. Now, for me, uh, just in closing, the way I have it set up is I do not touch my Android tablet at all. I actually have it sitting on my, um, my laptop stand and then I'll have my, my pen tablet down with a keyboard next to it. And then I use Clip Studio Paint or Krita because they both will allow me to use the keyboard to fully interact with the screen. So like if you want to pinch and zoom or rotate or tilt or whatever, um, you can do that via the keyboard or the buttons here and they work just fine.